Do you have your camera shot? Okay, they're all aware of it. <laughs> My God, look at this. Okay, Brian, take a seat over there, man. All right. Thank you, dude. Hello. This is Brian, everybody. Hi, Brian. 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 Brian is from the local, what is it, Del Taco? Uh, you found me at the Jack in the Box. Like, yeah, Jack in the yeah. Box. Yeah, one of those. So that, that was what was voted on, on the project, as you can see down here. I said, what should I present in my USC MFA crit class tomorrow? And I offered these choices. Personally, I wanted to do this one. Um, <laughs> that would have been really great, you know? Uh, or, or the heavy metal shredder, and I was going to yell about the project for 30 minutes. Um, but instead, uh, you know, I, I brought in somebody that's not in the program to discuss art in general and in this project. So I guess, you know, to start it off, um, I've been doing the advice of strangers now for three days. This is the third day. And um, yeah. So I guess I would like to hear maybe what you think about, uh, not to put you on the spot or anything, man. Okay. <laughs> but I, I'd like to hear what you have to say, like what, uh, I don't know, what do you think about, what, what it, what, contemporary art, what does it mean to you? Well, um, I'd have to say the ability to take a chunk of one's soul and put it into a tangible form for others to view and appreciate is one of the most amazing things that we were blessed with as humans. Yeah. You know, um, I love when I can see somebody else's work and it resonates with me, mm -hmm. you know, but um, being an artist, I feel that the most potent feelings I've ever gained out of another human being was when they can feel what I expressed and then they get some weird twisted views on it, you know, mm -hmm. and bring it back to me. So what do you do for art? I'm a graphic designer, okay. but, um, you know, I've done done everything, murals, tattoos, um, airbrushing. You've given, did you give yourself that tattoo? Actually, no, okay. no, friend of the family. That's cool. Yeah. I guess, you know, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I want to open the crit up to like this discussion of, of what the crit means and, and what this project means in the crit and what it means for me to go out and get the advice of strangers and bring this project, cameras, audience, myself, Brian, all this stuff sort of coming together and, and culminating in, you know, what's going on now. I don't know if you guys want to speak on that side. Could you talk about um, why Carl's Jr.? I uh, mean, I, I, mean I'd sure. wanna, I guess I'd want to take apart that, the, the one that got chosen, go to Carl's Jr., pick strangers, blah, blah, blah. Um, rather than go through and how these became what could happen in the crit class. Right. Let's go to the one that actually happened and why, what determined Carl's Jr.? Mm -hmm. um, why a stranger rather than, say, waiting around Carl's Jr. all day until you see someone you might know, or going to some other venue? Um, and what do you think, uh, what determined how the person was picked, which is not exactly Clear. Clear there. Was it an aesthetic decision? Was it the first person who would agree? The third person who would agree? It was the first person that would agree. He was the first person. I asked lots of people. A lot of people didn't speak English. Um, and I, I, I chose Carl Jr. because it was just right across the street. And I feel like, you know, I mean, I guess I could have chosen the taco place, but I forgot the name of it okay. uh, on the corner there. Okay. Um, what is it called? Chano's. Chano's. Yeah. Totally forgot the name. Um, but it didn't even matter because I went to Jack in the Box anyhow because nobody at uh, Carl's Jr. was, was able or want, willing to do this. Mm -hmm. um, so then I went a, a, across the street to, to Jack in the Box. I guess it was just something that's like, it's another sort of institution that's happening over there. It's a food institution. Um, well, I mean, I guess, I mean, in terms of, I mean, I think it's important to, that on some level the crit already started as soon as you announced you were going to do this which is interesting, mm -hmm. um, in that certain people did not want to participate. I had my own way that I did or did not want to participate. But in terms of, I would say, the majority of the reservations uh, about wanting this to happen in the crib or how it might happen or people participating, it became uh, a question of, for, of the many ways it could be put, sponsorship. Oh, right, okay. And so, it's interesting to me about that having already been raised as an issue, and that it's 
Carl's Jr. say rather than the corner of whatever this corner would be. Mm -hmm. You know, like you have a placard that says art on it and you stop people. Like to take it, I mean, not that it would remove it from the locale. I think that actually the locale makes how the person is chosen. Like where does this exist? Where does this building exist in right. relationship to USC, in relationship to things that are not USC? How do people who don't go to USC participate in or understand what USC is? I remember, you know, at Yale there were people in New Haven who thought like, literally there were electronic fences that if you didn't go to Yale you couldn't get on campus. Yeah. You know, nobody knew um, that there was a school over here, over there. Exactly. Did you know that we were here? I didn't know that this building itself existed. Actually, I've seen the sign. Oh yeah, that little the USC whatever sign on the gate right yeah. there, but I awesome you know the correlation body. didn't come to me. Right. You know that's why when you were asking me to go across the street to an art crit for USC, I was like, okay. Yeah, dark corner. Maybe yeah. Only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <That's> scary. <laughs> You're a good man for this. I know it's weird. It's um, all right. It's all right. <clears throat> yeah, Carl's Jr. Yeah, as far as it being a sponsorship thing, I mean, I I, I can see. I mean, I, I'm yeah, not, I'm not suggesting right. that Carl's Jr. is sponsoring you. No, and I know uh, they're I, not. I, I, <laughs> yeah. But also, it's like you could have neutralized it more in terms of the locale could have been almost identical mm -hmm. without a corporate name appearing on it. And no, I guess it's, it's like that kind of question and consideration. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, it's interesting that these two things are already in play. Before mm -hmm the actual time the credit begins? Uh, I guess, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, the other night, it was, you know, I went to 7-Eleven and I announced that I was going to 7-Eleven and it was, uh, it was, it was, <laughs> it's just a media frenzy, man. Yeah, take out your phones, dude. Camera shy, I mean, come on, man. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I, you know, yeah, I know. I should have done the paper bags, but then I felt really bad. I felt put this paper bag on your head and sit on this side. I would just be awful. So I went to the Goodwill to find masks. No, I mean, I, I, mean, I think I, I don't want this to become about the ethics of photography, but I, I mean, it's, it's a question of ethics. It's like, what does my picture have to do with what I do? Right. And we live in a world in which your picture is what you do. Right. Literally, that's how everything's been. I have to have a headshot to exist. And I, you know, I don't believe in this. And right. you know, the problem with technology where it is at this moment is the, you know, in terms of like the aboriginal belief that the camera steals your soul. Really, in a in a way that has exponentially uh, exceeded the ability to do this when you're dealing with film is now. The image. I don't know where that image is going to end up. Right. You know, it's not something that I really, you know, consider a dialogue between Seven Eleven or Carl's Jr. and this project. I, I'm never really. But for the project, I think that those are details that are going to end up being really important because I I didn't see that suggestion in the comments when you were soliciting comments for what you should talk about in your crit. What do you mean? Oh, this. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? No, it's not. I chose two suggestions from right. that group so that's that were really actually... So that's important thing, because what you're doing is you're soliciting feedback to sculpt the quality of the questions and the specific, you know, specifics of the questions, right. but you're not using exclusively audience-solicited questions. Some of it's them weren't feasible, though. But, that's, but I'm not saying that you should, Mark. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah. that you, like, if that's what the project should be, but that you made a very specific choice to combine your direction and and the audience, and then you're letting them take over kind of at the last step where they <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> leads to mass owl kidnapping. Oh, Sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was I uh, <laughs> yeah, but for me, like Carl's Jr., like the ethics there had to do with like like a clear implication that if you're going to go to Carl's Jr., you're probably going to find someone who doesn't know anything about contemporary art. I thought there was no other way of reading that. But but like it, this, it, which isn't to say that something can't happen from that. But if that's what's going to be happening. That needs to be like your specific direction. So like when you make specific choices like that, right. if it has a reverberation within the project, like it needs to be clear. It needs to start becoming clear to us, if not to like every single person in your audience, that the choices that you're making and the results aren't merely kind of spinning out in all these different directions. What do you think of this? Um, what do I think about the, like, you know, I, I think that you could have said, I'm going to go to a burger joint on the corner 
and none of this conversation would be happening right now. But do you think that it's okay that I'm making some of these choices? Yeah, for these I mean, questions. I mean, if what, you came to the site without knowing that this this critique exists behind it, and you didn't know I was an art school student. Well, obviously you're going to know I'm an art school student. <laughs> but if you didn't, if you didn't know the actual mechanisms of the art school, you know, okay. for example, the crit. Um, would you really give it a lot of thought, or would you just be like, whatever, man, that looks fun, I'll choose that one? I don't know, I mean, I'm asking. Well, f for me, they all, I mean, it sounds like you were trying to find a very random way to have your, your work critiqued. Okay. And so, um, those are pretty random choices, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I give, you some, I give you some credit in that. Um, <clears throat> I don't really know how else you could have gone about it. You know, maybe, um, go like skid row and grab people. Mm -hmm. That might have been exciting, you know? Right. Um, maybe uh, go to like, like that 7th Metro, that big bus station right there and try to get okay. random people from the, the subway would have been fun. Um, <clears throat> because then you're gonna get a, a larger quantity of, of input, you know? But um, either way, I think that what you did to find your result, um, there was only one real obvious decision on there to vote for, you know? I feel that, that the advice of strangers is the most likely to be chosen. I mean, because I, I don't understand what setting a sculpture of yourself on fire would have brought to your project. I, don't, I mean, because I don't know what your project is. I have no idea what we're here to critique. Um, celebrating the freeway is good, but I don't understand it. Um, yeah. You know, the heavy metal shredder would have been fun, that would have been fun, but you would have had a very sore throat by the end of the, the right. whole thing. Right. And um, <clears throat> maybe I could get sponsored by a lozenge company. After that. Yes, yes. And <laughs> the, uh, I mean, so the advice of strangers or, or go to Carl's Jr. really seemed like the only two that could have come out of it. But I don't. I mean, like, like I, I can understand what you're saying. Why Carl's Jr.? You know. Um, yeah. But I can also understand what you're saying. You know, it's right there. Mm -hmm. So.